According to a recent survey published in Bloomberg, more people than you would expect are keeping secret accounts that their partners don't know about. Banking accounts, credit card accounts, checking accounts. Sasha, now how dare they? How dare they keep this money away from their live-in partners? It's more common than was thought, according to the survey. Daniel Shear of Bloomberg said this, about 13 million Americans have squirreled away a checking, savings, or credit card account from live-in partners. A slightly greater share of women, about 6%, than men, 5%, have said they've kept money out of sight. So according to the survey, 5 or 6% of all people are keeping secret accounts from their partners. Well, I'm a little curious about this survey because... How many people, is, is it really common, you know, to commingle funds if you're simply living with somebody? I feel like that's a, a more of a step in a direction right. of marriage. Or... But the survey was not about keeping separate accounts, but keeping secret, secret accounts. accounts. Accounts that the other partner did not know about. Um, and, and according to the survey, it was younger people who seemed to be doing it more than older. If we look at the chart, uh, the graph of 18 to 29-year-olds is the highest percentage of those responding in the in the positive. Now, that could just mean that they're um, more likely to admit to it in a survey. It's hard to it's hard to tell. But it's also not surprising that more millennials would be sort of keeping this sort of thing under wraps, especially because you know a lot of millennials tend to be children of divorce. Um, they have a lot more assistance than any other generation, I'd say, from parents who, you know, have access to their accounts. They're giving them money so they can live. Kids are, you know, living at home more mm -hmm. often than not because the economy is so bad. So I, I understand in that vein, especially why people in the 18 to 29 situation yeah. would be more apt to kind of keep that hush hush. But it's, it's sort of an old fashioned idea of the housewife who's squirreling away $5, $10 mm -hmm. a week here for a rainy, her rainy day fund. But that was in a time when, when housewives didn't necessarily work and they were taking the money that their husband was giving them for groceries or whatever and putting a little aside for themselves just in case things went bad. But now when you know everybody's working and, and earning their own money, uh, the idea of having separate accounts seems normal, but having a secret account seems a little bit distrustful of the partner. I'm curious, I'm just opening up the conversation with our audience here because everybody has an experience with this. If you're living with somebody or married, curious to know whether or not you feel it's okay to have a secret account, whether you yourself, since you're uh, posting on there anonymously probably, uh, do that yourself. And is this uh, something that you do in a trusting relationship? Well, in this situation, I think that there are a lot of factors at play. I'd also like to know how many people are actually having open conversations with their partners about finances as well, because that seems to be a thing where with growing student loan debt, especially mm -hmm. amongst millennials, you know, I have, um, have heard people say that they ask people how much student loan debt they have before sure. they start dating because their debt coupled with somebody else's, they're never going to be able to get out from underneath that. Yeah, if they... or credit card debt. Yeah. If you're thinking of getting into a serious relationship with another person and they have an enormous amount of credit card debt or student loan debt, yeah, it, it does matter, uh, especially if you're, you're looking at being married. It does matter. So it comes up in a conversation. Uh, eventually, when you enter into a serious conversation, somebody might say, by the way, you didn't know, but uh, I have you know, $100,000 in, in, in school debt. Or somebody might say, by the way, uh, my, my, my dad's a uh, multimillionaire. I, I thought you should know that. Uh, you know, well, it could wanna, go either way. They want to be seen for who they are and yes. not for their <laughs> debt or their wealth. That's why they keep the accounts a secret. Uh, yeah, that might be why. I guess, well, we're curious to know uh, what, what everybody is doing at home with your money? Are you squirreling it away in secret or what are you doing?